Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Tony Mejia and Teddy Covers of Wager Talk and SportsMemo.com. We're talking NFL Sunday action here. We got the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. Teddy, it looks like 47 being the total. Minus three with some juice, mostly minus three and a halves out there. I don't know if you would call it three and a quarter, but maybe we could get away with that. Minnesota Vikings as the favorite at home. What are you thinking here? Bears versus Vikings on Sunday. So the Bears sure look like an over team right now, but that's putting our faith in Mitch Trubisky, which given the experience we've had backing Mitch Trubisky over the years is not an easy thing to do. But in each of the last two weeks, Trubisky has actually looked like a decent NFL quarterback. Last week, he looked like a good NFL quarterback. Well, of course, it helps when David Montgomery is ripping off 80-yard touchdown runs, and it helps when Allen Robinson's making great catches downfield. But Trubisky had a clean game. The Bears gained 6.9 yards per play, and they gained 169 yards on the ground. You know, that bodes well moving forward, and that's coming off another game with Trubisky, in which they got to 30, and even though the defense fell apart at the end, the offense was working. Now, the Vikings have done nothing but go over the total all year at home. Last time out against the Jags, they didn't quite get there, pushed for some a point or two short for the other. But this total, a good notch or two down from where it was. And even though Minnesota made all kinds of mistakes last week and struggled in the red zone, and we all know about Dan Bailey's struggles uh, kicking the football in that contest, they still were able to get Dalvin Cook to 102 rushing yards against the league's best rushing defense. I trust Minnesota's offense to bounce back. I look at Kirk Cousins as a quarterback who, despite his long, another guy who, yeah, Cousins, people have had a hard time with Cousins in in games, uh, especially big games over the years. He's been good this year. Trubisky's running good right now. Uh, And both these teams look to me like over teams here in December. This is one divisional matchup that I think has the potential to be a high scoring game. And we got that 47 B in the total. Tony. What are you liking here, uh, Bears and Vikings on Sunday? I think I'm with Mr. Covers on the high side because I don't trust any of these teams enough to back them sidewise. I'm not taking Mm -hmm. points with uh, Chicago based on what Matt Nagy and the the Bears did to me two weeks ago against the Lions, where I was happily laying three up 10 and got destroyed in the final two touchdowns in a minute span. Uh, I I tweeted that Nagy should be fired on the spot. Uh, And, uh, you know, Minnesota – after playing the Packers and beating them in Green Bay, they went through Detroit, Chicago, Dallas, Carolina, Jacksonville. You know, not a winner among those teams, and I think it caught up to them against Tampa Bay last week. Uh, you know, just f- facing a quality team, not having Eric Kendricks in there at linebacker, in addition to guys that have been missing all year, and Daniel Hunter and Anthony Barr, I think, really takes the Vikings down a notch. They're working in uh, an inexperienced secondary, kind of learning on a fly. And we're deep enough into the season where you should trust some of those guys. They obviously have a Harrison Smith as as the linchpin there, but still some mistakes there. So from the standpoint of having to touch this game, or from an opinion standpoint, I do like the over. Uh, Montgomery, aided by that 80-yard run, is averaging uh, 7.38 yards per carry over the last three weeks. Uh, That's tops in the NFL. Uh, But that offensive line is terrible. So Trubisky's playing well in spite of that. Uh, and I do think uh, Cousins to Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen is something that you can rely on. So uh, if you're going to touch this game, I touch the high side. Always helps that uh, it's indoors in Minneapolis. You don't want to play this game outdoors and be rooting for the over. The controlled climate looking towards the over. He's talking about t- tweeting it out. Follow him on Twitter at Mejia Dinero. That's Dinero. Money for Spanish at Mejia Dinero. Also, Teddy Covers on Twitter, at Teddy underscore Covers. Guys, remember uh, the scroll there at the bottom? We got the $149 special every single bowl game release for all of bowl season from the handicapper of your choice at both websites, sportsmemo and wagertalk.com.